and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another cozy video. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm so excited for today's video. I'm not gonna lie, I went to B&M on the weekend. If you've seen my previous video, wait, wait, before I begin, I hope you're nice and cozy. <laughs> make sure you make your favorite cozy drink, whether that's a hot drink, like a hot choc, or a cold drink, like a latte or water. <laughs> And I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Anyway, like I was saying, if you watched my previous video, I filmed a cozy weekend vlog. And in that video, we went shopping, we went to B&M, Home Bargains, Primark, and I said to you that I'm gonna film a B&M and Home Bargains haul, which is obviously today's video. So I'm really excited about it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of in my pajamery sort of loungewear because I was gonna get like, dressed up i say dressed up i was gonna wear like pajama bottoms and then a nice top but i just thought i want you guys to be cozy so i should be cozy as well see <laughs> so i'm like all glam and then in my like cozy clothes but yeah i am so excited for today's video all the stuff has literally been sitting here from the weekend and i haven't been able to use anything and it's been so annoying it's like torture i'm like no I need it, I need it, and I haven't, so I've been good. Some of the stuff were present, so I've taken those out because I know a lot of my friends and family watch my videos. I mean, I hope anyway. So I've taken some of their gifts out. Um, I'm also having a moment with my hair today. It's just not cooperating, so I've gone for like, flipped over to the side. Not sure if I'm feeling it. Do you know when it's like, freshly washed? I just feel like it never styles right. Is it just me? I feel like it's like, floppy anyway i really hope you guys are excited for today's video and if you want to see all the new bits i got from b&m and home bargains then please keep watching okay so this is probably the biggest b&m and home bargain shop i've done so i'm not going to ramble on about each product even though i've just rambled on with the intro where should we start off let's start off at b&m because that's where i went first so the first thing is this this is the mrs hinch collaboration with lenore and it's in the scent rose wonderland Oh my god, this is comfort by the way. If you haven't smelt this before, or used it, you're missing out. Honestly, ever since I've had this, I'm so sad it's limited edition because I just want my clothes to smell like this all year round. Um, so I actually bought two of these, but I don't know when they're gonna be gone. So I'm kind of scared. I kind of wish I got more, but it is really lovely. So if you haven't smelt this or tried it, definitely do. Next up, I got Viacal. There's not really much to say about this, although it's really good for bathrooms. I got two, one for me and one for my mum. Every time I go to B&M, she's always like, can you pick me up a Viacal? I'm like, all right, mum. <laughs> so I picked one up for her. Oh, I picked these up. These were only $1.99. If the price is on it, I'll say the price. But if it's not, then I can't tell you because I don't even know where the receipt is and we'd probably be here for a long time like me searching through the receipt but these are washing brushes I really like them because I really like their colours and they're quite small and they'll fit in my little washing pot on my sink really nicely I got this for my mum um, I'm going to put it in one of her in one of her stockings in her stocking for Christmas it was only £3 and it's a reusable bag so you open it up and it's like a reusable bag um, I actually saw this on Gemma's B&M haul. And ever since then, I was like, oh my God, my mum would love that because she loves cats and things like that. So I got this for her. So thanks, Gemma. Found this because of you. <laughs> Next up, we have Fabulosa. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I feel like I'm going Fabulosa. Fabulosa. Is that how you say it? <laughs> So this is a Winter Garden Foam Freshener. A lot of these products are christmas or winter themed and i want to film a christmas clean with me using these products so i've got these so this is a foam freshener i don't know what it smells like and i'm going to wait until that video to use it um, but the packaging is really cute i thought it's so lovely and then i also got a fabulosa all-in-one disinfectant this isn't really wintry themed but how lovely is that packaging i feel like that is really lovely you wouldn't think that's a cleaning product but yeah got that one this is really good just to disinfect anything. I literally put this on everything, especially with like coronavirus. <laughs> scared. Next up, I got some shampoo and conditioner. I have to use ones that are 0% parabens and things like that just because of my hair. I don't color my hair. I get asked all the time 
if I colour my hair and what colour my hair is, it's natural, um, but I do have extensions in my hair. And a big thing is when you do have extensions is to not use shampoos and conditioners that have sulfates and parabens and things like that because it can like strip the colour from the extensions and also from your hair, but it's basically like plastic. Sorry if you can hear Luna downstairs. So yeah, I'm using products that are a lot better for my hair, um, but these are really good. I love the Hair Burst shampoo and conditioner. Honestly, it's my favorite. I love the smell of it. Oh, it just smells amazing, but I've run out. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I need to get a backup for when I run out, um, so I've got this. Another hair care product is this. This is from Pantene, and it is their Repair and Protect Hair Mask. I love this. I feel like I can't open it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God. I honestly can't open this. Like, I genuinely can't. It's as if it's like glued shut, so I'm gonna get Bradley to open this. But I buy this all the time. It's such a good hair mask. It makes my hair so silky and shiny. It also feels like it's repaired my hair. I feel like sometimes you can really see my split ends because I put a lot of heat on my hair. So when I use things like this, it just helps that. The next thing I got was the Lenore Crease Releaser. That was the postman. This is honestly such a lovely product. They've changed their packaging, which I'm not too sure about. It's like, you squirt it like that instead of like that. I'm not a fan of it, if I'm honest. I feel like it looks a bit weird, but it's a really lovely product. You can basically spray this on your clothes, on bedding, and you spray it and then you pull it so it's really tight and then you leave it to dry and it basically gets rid of the creases. It does work, but you have to use a lot of it, but it does smell amazing. I normally use it just over my bed just to make it smell nice after, but be really careful if you've got a wooden floor, oh my God, it will make it like an ice rink. I used to spray it on my curtains, on the sofa, and then a couple of hours went by and people would walk in. I say people, I mean me and Bradley, and we literally just slipped everywhere. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it near wooden floor or like try not to let any fall out because it is quite dangerous. <laughs> Next thing I got from B&M are these. I actually picked up, I think, four of these. Um, these are wax melt holders, but how lovely are these? Like, I love them. I've never seen this design before. They were only three pounds. I feel like these aren't your typical wax melt holders. You obviously put the tea light in here and I feel like you can put either a wax melt or an oil burner in the top bit and they look really lovely. I feel like these would go in any room of my house. So I got four because I love them. Last time I went to Home Bargains, I got marble wax melt holders and I only picked up two and I regretted it so much because I went again and they didn't have any and I was so sad so I thought I'm not gonna make that same mistake again so I picked up four of those to like scatter around my house and make it all smell lovely I picked up this really cute winter mug this was only £2.50 and um, they didn't have a B so I picked up an A and was like sorry Bradley <laughs> so yeah they were very limited with letters I think this was the last A but I thought it's really cute I love the subtle glitter on it it's not too much but it's nice and cute and Christmassy. I picked up my favorite face masks. These are just lovely. I haven't had the lavender ones in a long time, so I thought I'd give them a go again. These are the Garnier Moisture Bomb Tissue Masks. They're amazing. If you haven't tried them, try them because they are so good. And a really good stocking filler as well. This is a very adult purchase. <laughs> it's a gravy bowl. <laughs> Me and Bradley are like doing our own traditions at the moment where we have a Sunday roast and it's lovely. Like it's just so nice. And we were like, do you know what? We could really use a gravy bowl. So we got this. Actually, I think this was from Home Bargains, not B&M. I think one of the bags is mixed up. This is from Home Bargains. <laughs> but it was literally a couple of pounds and it's really lovely lovely so I'm excited this Sunday to put our gravy in it and have a really lovely roast with our gravy bowl <laughs> so sad but I'm excited we have these really cute slipper socks do you know what brand these reminded me of uh, you can probably tell from the bow but it really reminded me of Ted Baker they were only three pounds each so I got I think I got two pairs um, I kind of want to give them out as presents because I really liked them I thought these were really cute I think I'll keep one and then give one out for presents. Um, but yeah, the bow just reminded me of Ted Baker and I loved it. And I just thought the color of them are really lovely. They've got grip at the bottom, which is perfect because we've got wooden floor. And yeah, I thought these are just really cute. Next up, we got some microfiber cloths. These are really good. They were only £2.50, 
but if you see here it tells you what each of them are for which is really good for Bradley <laughs> because every time I'm like oh can you clean here can you clean here he's like what cloth do I use and I'm like just any just grab any but this is really helpful and in our like cleaning cupboard in the kitchen we've got little hooks to put cloths but these are really good because these can hook on and then he can see exactly what each cloth is for so I thought these are really good and they're only four pounds so yeah I'm excited to put them up and he can start using the correct cloths <laughs> next up I got some brunette dry shampoo this is really good I feel like normal dry shampoos a lot of brands when you just use like an original one it makes you look like you've aged about 50 years because your hair goes gray and it's really hard to like completely get rid of it i feel like even when you brush it out you can still see a tint of it if you're blonde it's probably perfect because it can cover like your ruse but honestly when you're brunette it's like no i don't want my gray to come through yet so getting a brunette hair dry shampoo is perfect and I use this all the time. Well, next up, I've got some dog stuff. This was $1.99 and it is a nylon chew flyer. I'm not too sure, but all I know is Luna basically chews anything and everything she can get her hands on, her paws on even. Honestly, she just chews everything. Like I have my favorite pair of trainers and she chewed through the laces. And I was thinking, oh my God, her, na her nails, well, her teeth are like nails. Honestly, they're like the sharpest things ever. So I'm trying to get her some toys that she can chew through instead. Um, so I think this will be really good. And it's not too big, like it's quite small. And Lottie, some dental treat thingies. I don't know, but they eat these for ages. I got this, this is a pet and stain odor remover. Luna is still a puppy. To be fair, she hasn't had many accidents a lot recently, but I feel like now I've said that, she, I'm going to go downstairs, there's going to be an accident somewhere. But downstairs we've just got wooden flooring, apart from our rug. Which sometimes she's like, oh my god, I might just wee here. Um, so we need something like this to get rid of it. But this is really good because you can spray it and it's got the brush. So you don't have to ruin another brush or a sponge of yours to like get rid of the wee or poo stain. <laughs> TMI, I don't know. But it's real life, so um, yeah, this is just handy to have in the cupboards i'm very excited about this um so this is one of my favorite winter plug-in for breezes in the scent spiced apple oh my god it smells amazing i've got them plugged in at the moment and i love them if you haven't tried the plugins and you want your house to smell a lot nicer try them because they honestly work um so i got two of those and then i got a new limited edition one in the scent crystal ice and i think if you rub this with your nail Oh my god, that smells really lovely. You can smell it. That smells like aftershave. That smells like Bradley's just come out of the shower and he's got like a nice aftershave on. That's really lovely. Um, so yeah, this is a limited edition one. So I thought I could save this for the clean with me as well. But I don't know if I can wait that long. Next up, we have this. This is £3 and it is a festive dog toy elf. I think Luna would love this. Like, I honestly think she's gonna absolutely love this. She loves playing tug of war, um, so I think this is perfect. And it's Christmassy. I got this. I feel like I always get the limited edition festive scrub daddies. This is a little snowflake. Look how cute he is. And it's really good. They're scratch free, dishwasher safe. They're really versatile. You can clean basically anything with these. Um, and they're really good, so I got this one. I think he's cute. I got some gas lighters. These are really handy to have because I literally put wax melts on every single night. I just love them and a lot of the time, basically I bought a reusable, like a charger lighter from Amazon. It's really good, but it runs out really quickly. <laughs> Honestly, it really does. So then I'll like light a candle and then it will just run out and then I've got to put it on charge and then wait for it to charge. So I thought, I'm just gonna get these. These are £2.99. Oh, and they're refillable gas lighters, which is good. Um, and they come in a packet of three, so I thought these will be very handy. I got some festive dishwasher tablets because I'm a sucker for anything festive related. I got some warm cinnamon Zaflora. Um, Home Bargains, I found, had the better range of Zaflora than B&M. I got this, which I've literally seen all over Instagram. It's the Flash All Purpose Spray in the scent Sugar Plum Delight. 
which is a winter limited edition one and I thought it looked amazing. I haven't smelt it yet, but I'm excited. I got these two Fabulosas, Fabulosa sprays. These are all in one disinfectant as well. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Um, but these are <laughs> the festive editions too. I've literally bought so much for this clean with me. I'm not even gonna use all these products, but I was like, okay, that's festive, that's festive. I'll put it in the trolley. And then Bradley was like, you've got a lot of stuff. And I was like, yeah, I need it. But I so don't. But anyway, I can even give it to my family if I don't end up using it or store it in my garage and then I can use it when I run out. But look how cute the packaging is. I thought these are really cute. Next up, we have some more dog treats. The dogs are literally there. They can probably hear me. So I'm not going to say that word. Um, but you have to be really careful when you're getting your dog's treats, especially this time of year. I used to be a sucker for getting like the typical dog stockings um, and they're like red and green but a lot of the treats in it contain rawhide which is so poisonous and bad for your dogs. There's so many chemicals in it like it's just awful like you should never buy your dog's rawhide. I remember when I used to do it for Lottie and loads of you messaged me and was like what are you doing? No and I had no idea I just thought well they sell it it's for dogs surely they're allowed to have it but it's so bad. So we're constantly looking at treats and looking at the back of them and it's like does it contain rawhide? No, nope, no, nope, okay that's fine. Um, but we get ones that are mostly like 100% meat or anything like that which isn't like plasticky or rawhide related. Um, so we got these little chicken popcorn, <laughs> so weird. So next up I got a mini dustpan and brush. How cute is this? Um, the reason we got this is because every time we're cooking or there's just crumbs on the side, on the surface in the kitchen, we always think, oh, we need something like that. We need like, well, to be fair, we have got a handheld hoover, but it's just, it like lives it in the cupboard on the landing and it's just annoying to go all the way upstairs to go and get it. So we thought we need something like this. So it's easy and convenient and we can just dust up any crumbs or anything like that in the kitchen. And yeah, it's really good and handy. So this was 199. And I really like it. I thought it looks really smart. Next up, we have my favourite Unstoppables. This is in the scent Dreams. They honestly smell amazing. If you ever want Unstoppables and you're not sure what scent, all you do is squeeze it and sniff it at the top and you can like smell the scent. But honestly, I feel like these smell so lovely after I take them out on the wash. All my washing smells incredible. So I got some of those. We also picked up Nutella. We love Nutella so much. I mean, who doesn't? Unless you don't like chocolate or nuts or you're allergic to nuts, then I understand. But this is just the best ever. So we got these and then next to it, I saw these. <laughs> what, honestly, you guys know I'm a sucker for any thick mini. And I just thought, oh my God, these are the cutest things ever. And it just really made me want to make like a breakfast buffet sort of, is it a hamper? Not like a platter. So like one weekend I might do me and Bradley a really cute Christmassy. I could even vlog it do like a really cute Christmassy morning and we have our favourite little platter and I can put these out and I just thought they're really cute. Don't know if I'll use them but these are really good. And I suppose you can keep the jars and then refill them with like a bigger Nutella as well. Um, so yeah, and these are really good to have in someone's stocking if they love Nutella. Next up, I got the Febreze Air Mist in the scent Crystal Ice. The, these, <laughs> this is the same as the Febreze plugin. It's just a really fresh scent, but it's a little bit more masculine as well. But I love that. I love the scent of like men's deodorant and aftershave. It just smells really fresh. I feel like when you do like a full house clean and you spray this, everything will just smell really lovely and fresh. And it is like icy. That's a really good way to describe it. So I love this and I feel like I should have got more because I have a feeling I'm going to love this. I also picked up this. This is a mini Fabulosa all-in-one disinfectant. So you basically can spray this on everything you can put it on up to a hundred sprays but you basically spray it on everything but i thought with coronavirus and everything going on at the moment it's really good to like take with you if you're going out somewhere if you're using a public toilet and you want to like flush the chain but you don't want to touch anything you can spray this and then do your business or whatever do you know what i mean it's just really handy to have you have that extra sort of reassurance because you know you're using something to disinfect um, so I just thought this is really, really clever and a really good product just to have with you at all times. Even when you're going shopping and say you forget to wipe the trolley or anything like that, it's just good to have. Next up, we have this. And no, we don't have cats or kittens. 
this is for the dogs. It was three pounds and it's a ball chaser. I don't know if Luna's gonna like it. I know for a fact Lottie will. Lottie loves cat toys. She's a very... Oh, Buddy's home. Hello. Hello. Can you hear Luna crying? Lottie's a very sort of delicate dog. She's quite she's quite like a cat so yeah we always buy her cat toys next up i got this this is a facial hair remover i'm not sure how this works but i was really intrigued by it it's from l and i feel like i don't know if b m have collabed with l but i saw a lot of their products and i wish i got more um but i'm intrigued to try this i'll let you guys know how i get on i might try it in a vlog um, I'm actually vlogging tomorrow, we're going to Vista Village, and that video will be up on Sunday, and I'm really excited. So if, for any reason, I have a pump in that video, or a video after, I will try it for you guys and let you know. It was only, I think, around £5, and I thought if anyone wants, like, a facial hair removal that's completely safe, they want it for Christmas, it's a really good stocking filler, because it was literally, like, £5, um, this is perfect. And I really like the packaging as well. Next up, we have this. I should have shown you this at the beginning, with the actual Lenore, but this is a bold all-in-one capsules, and you basically put one in a wash and it does everything. It just cleans it, disinfects it, um, and it's amazing. So you just put one in a wash and then I'll put a cup full of the Unstoppables and then Lenore, and your washing will smell amazing. So um, I love this. Oh, I did pick up another one of the Crystal Ice Febreze, so I'm excited to put two of these around. I also got two Minkies from B&M. I don't know where the other one is. I feel like it could be in another Home Bargains bag. So I'll probably find it in a minute. But this is the Christmas limited edition one. This one has little reindeers on and the other one has snowflakes, I think. I'll probably find it in another bag in a second and show you. Um, but I just thought these are really cute. And these are the kitchen ones. I love the fact that they're white and gray and they look really cute and Christmassy. I also got two big cushions from B&M. Um, these have just got, I don't know what the stuffing is inside. But I always just use the cases because I find the stuff and you can't like chop them because they just sort of bounce back. These were on sale for only £6. So I got two of these because I thought these are quite big. They look really lovely. They're really soft and they'll look really nice on the sofa. Okay, next up from Home Bargains. I got another dog tree. I feel like this might be a bit too big. But we'll see. Um, it's a beef flavour and it's a nylon bone as well. So I just think this is really good for Luna and her teething. Um, but it, it, to be fair, it's not too big, but I'm scared it's going to be too big. So I'll be with her when she tries it just to see if it's the right size. Next up, I have some red and white candy canes. I feel like every single year I try and find the red and white ones just because I prefer the look of them to like the red and green. Um, I think it's red, green and white, but yeah, I just prefer the red and white and they're really lovely. And sometimes I put them on presents for, pe for people and they really like it. It's just a nice little touch. Okay, these are from B&M, so I'm guessing some of the bags are a little bit mixed up, but I got some paper straws. I feel like these are really good. I love, I love using these when people come around. To be honest, they haven't come around in ages because of coronavirus, but these are just really handy to have. And you get 25 in here for a pound. Okay, so floor-wise, like I said, they had a better selection in Home Bargains than they did in B&M. Um, so these are my two favourite winter scents from Zaflora. This is a cranberry and orange. I think this is my favourite. And then this is the winter morning, which oh, smells so lovely as well. I've run out of all my winter ones already. I think I've got cinnamon, but when I feel like when I use that all the time, it gets a little bit sickly. So I like to change it up a little bit. Um, so I'm excited to use these. I've got two of each. Um, so I'm all set for December. I say December as if we're not in December now, but we are obviously. <laughs> okay, so this is the snowflake minky, and then this is the reindeer one. So you can see the difference. I got both because I couldn't pick which one I liked more. I just thought they're both really cute. This is probably the most boring, <laughs> boring thing I got in the haul. And it's a blue toilet, I don't even know what these are called. Colour active toilet bleach things. You basically hook it on your toilet and then every time you flush the chain, water sort of washes it and then the water will go blue. Um, so it looks fresh. And they smell quite nice, but yeah, very boring. I got these, so this is a Cotton Breeze Luxury Fragrance Air Freshener. I love these. This is from the brand Wickford & Co. I feel like this is a affordable dupe for Yankee Candle, but I actually prefer the branding of this. 
um, and it was literally a couple of pounds so yeah I thought this is just lovely to have in a bathroom just because it looks really fresh and they've got really nice car fresheners as well I also got this this is a really cute vase of flowers it's going to replace the ones I've got on my dressing table now because these ones are a little bit fuller and I just prefer the look of them. I feel like these are really lovely. I love my pampas but white roses will always be my favourite flowers. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited about these and I just thought these are really lovely. I don't know the price of these. I feel like they were like 2 or 3 99 around that. Um, they were definitely under £5 which is amazing for five flowers in a vase and I thought these are a really good Christmas gift as well if you want to get someone a lovely gift. I picked up the limited edition Peony Blush de Flora um, this is the bigger version this is a 500ml and I haven't smelt this yet but I love the packaging I just love it so I'm intrigued to see what it smells like oh, I love that that's very floral and light I'm gonna save this for the new year so I'm gonna use all the winter ones up and then in the new year I can do a new year clean with me and I'll use these because oh, I love them but the packaging is beautiful I also picked up these I get them every single time I go into home bargains because I don't know why we just somehow lose them so these are like what are these actually called food bag clips so basically when you've opened something for example a packet of crisps popcorn whatever you can reseal it with these um, and the air doesn't go in or come out so it's not going to make things go stale so these are really handy I literally use them every single day and they go missing so I've got more and I really like the colours of them it's very unusual to have these in like a kitchen but I like them and then the last thing from home bargains is this this is a hand wash and hand lotion set. It's from the brand Aspley and Stone. Never heard of it, but it was in like the present section of Home Bargains. If you're looking to get affordable stocking fillers or presents, go there because it was amazing. But I thought these are right up my street. I love the look of them and I feel like these would look really lovely in one of our bathrooms. Um, we've got three bathrooms so it's just really handy to have them because we always seem to run out of soaps all the time. Uh, but I thought these are really, really lovely and I love the branding. So my lovelies, that is going to conclude the video here. I did get a lot more but like I said at the beginning, a lot of it were presents so I've taken a lot. I've taken all of that out so no one can see what I got anyone for Christmas because I know a lot of people who are my friends and family watch me and I don't want them to know what I got them. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please do give this video a big thumbs up if you have. Subscribe if you're new to my channel because we are so close to 500k that would mean so much to me if you joined the fam. Um, the video on this weekend, I've got a really exciting weekend vlog. So we're basically going to Bista Village tomorrow and I'm so excited. So we're going to film a lovely cozy few days and yeah that'll be up on sunday so subscribe and click the bell notifications so you're notified on every single time i upload but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one bye